Welcome to another SolarWorks video by NCCS, your SolarWorks provider. Today we'll take a look at some basic pattern feature in SolarWorks. The patterning feature can be found under the Features tab and just under uh, Linear Pattern. There are Linear Pattern as well as Circular Pattern. Those are the two that we'll be going through today. So in this model that I've got, I've got say a 200 by 100 mil um, sheet metal and I've got some cut extrudes through it. I've got two configurations of it. I've got one with triangles and one with ellipse. For the triangle uh, configuration, what I want to do is pattern this cut extrude along the x-axis and I also want to pattern it along the z-axis. Let's take a look at how we can do that. Select linear pattern. First, select the direction that you like the pattern uh, to happen along. So for me, I'll select this edge is as this is along the x-axis. Secondly, specify the features and faces that we want to uh, pattern. We can directly select from the graphics area or we can expand this folder and select it. This is when a proper naming com uh, convention for your features are going to come in handy. Note that in my original feature I've got some fillets. If I did not select fillets as well, my pattern shape would not include them. So for this example, we'll also select fillet 1. Back up to the top under direction 1. We can specify the spacing as well as the number of instances that we would like to show. This is rather a uh, simpler method in creating uh, your patterns. What's more is that you could also use something called up to reference. Let's take a look at that in the other direction. So in direction two, I'll select this edge as I want it to pattern along the z-axis. Instead of using spacing and instances, let's take a look at the up to reference option this time. In this spot, select the edge uh, that you would like the pattern to end. For us, we'll be selecting uh, this edge on the other side of the sheet metal along the x-axis. I can specify the spacing again here. So here, we can offset the distance of edge 3. For example, say we may have a clamp that's going to hold down this sheet metal and obviously we don't want any holes to be punched uh, through the edge 3 as the clamp's going to be there so what we can do is we can offset that distance by saying okay the clamps are going to be about uh, 15 millimeters into the uh, sheet metal so we just type in 15 millimeters what's going to happen is that any pattern that goes uh, into that 15 millimeters uh, line or well, region between that line and edge 3, those patterns will be excluded from the study. So you can see the four uh, boss extrude one that we're going to be over along next to edge 3 have now disappeared. There's also an option to pattern seed only. And you can see the difference clearly by doing clicking and then checking. Meaning that along direction 1, it will pattern the seed. And along direction 2, it will just pattern the seed instead of patterning the other uh, triangles along the x-axis that was uh, patterned from direction 1. Let's go ahead and tick that. And the patterns will be created. Let's take a look at our other configuration using ellipse. 
So in here, our ellipse is about 35 millimeters away from this edge along the z-axis. What I want to do now is do a circular pattern. So for this model, I would like to pattern my ellipse cut extrude around an axis. So to do that, I'll need to create an axis of rotation just through here. And what I'll do next is use circular pattern. Select my pattern through the tree here or in the graphics area. And I'll also select my axis of rotation. Now if we take a look from the top plane, we'll notice that a little bit of our pattern is going to cut through the side of the sheet metal rather being inside or completely away. Okay, So this is not going to uh, work with circular pattern. We need to modify our sketch. Change it from 35 to say 60. Going to circular pattern again. So that your axis of rotation. And there. Note that it cuts through the edge. Uh, if you want to change the distance as to where the patterns are, that's can, that can be easily done. So right click onto your original cut feature, add the sketch. So we'll change it to 70. Okay, this will update, and all the other patterns will also be updated because these patterns are constrained by the seed feature, which is the one in pink. Therefore, any changes to the pink uh, feature will also be projected onto the circular pattern uh, features, which are highlighted in blue. We can also skip instances. select it by clicking onto the pink dots thanks again for watching another SOLWORKS video by NCCS your SOLWORKS provider